It's Tuesday, February 21st, 2012, and here's New York. By the way, a new shirt from Threadless. Huh? Huh? Kind of a food-related day in the news today, at least in the things that I found sort of interesting in New York City. For one thing, the warm weather here in New York, according to the Epic Times, has caused a disruption in the natural cycle for bees, and thus beekeepers in the city, which exist, have had less honey in some cases. On Roosevelt Island, there are plans in the works to bring food trucks to the area, uh, but only in certain places, not including near the F train, which is ridiculous. And even further, some members of the Roosevelt Island Operating Corporation wish to have the trucks have a monthly permit of over $300 just to be on the island. Of course, no other neighborhood in the city requires that extra permit along with the permit provided by the city of New York. Flushing Avenue in Williamsburg, the Pfizer plant that was vacated in 2008 will soon have new occupants. Kombucha Brooklyn, Brooklyn Soda Works, and Steve's Ice Cream, three local food businesses, have already signed leases for the building. The New York Times today reports about Fresh Direct's plan to open up a new warehouse in the Bronx, and more specifically its attractors. The area has some of the worst asteroids in New York City, and of course the Fresh Direct company is a truck-based company, so that doesn't exactly help. And finally, up on the Upper West Side tomorrow, you can get a hamburger for, bur for 50 cents. Big Nick's Burger is celebrating 50 years, and they're rolling back the clock to 1962. You can get a burger for 60 cents, fries for 30 cents, and a fried egg sandwich for 35. And that's the food-related news going on in New York City. I'll see you all tomorrow at the Museum of the City of New York for a little culture review. I've got one of my classes going up to the exhibit on the Commissioner's Plan, which was the source of the New York City grid. And yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow.